What's up, guys? up here in Wyoming, May 21st, and we get fucking snow. I want to dress. Yeah, I shit you not, there's snow on the ground up here. Look at this shit. Fucking snow. May 21st. Fucking, what the fuck? This is a record because the latest I've ever seen snow in my life has been May 1st. It was back in 2003 when I lived in Michigan and I was driving on the freeway. I didn't have really good tread on my tires and I spun out off the freeway on May 1st, 2003. So this is a record. This is the latest in the year I've ever seen snow. Now, I've seen snow in Colorado as early as September. But I'm driving through Nebraska today. And I'm just watching my temperature gauge. I got a temperature gauge on my Favel. Tells the outside temperature. I'm just watching it drop. It's 41. And it's, then it dropped down to 37. I'm like, oh my God. And it dropped down to 36. When it got down to 34, that rain started turning into snow. It was raining all day across Nebraska. They had seven states with uh, flood warnings, including Nebraska. I was driving across Nebraska today, and it was just rain, rain. I watched that temperature gauge go down. When it dropped down to 34, it started snowing. Then it dropped down to 31. And I went I, I went to Cheyenne. I delivered my load. Wow, I'm right here in Wyoming. And now I'm... Uh, Done for the night. I might be heading back to California. I want to dress a few slobs. They're still talking shit. You know that, you know, couples, any married couple out there, any, any couple that's been around for, that's been together a long time, has had their spats, has had their, you know, whatever. Me and Milani, we've had our arguments, we've had our spats. It's nobody's business, really. It's not. You've seen what I did on video, and I'm not going to repeat what I did on video. Some of you have seen the video, some of you did not. Me and Milani are back together. That's the way it is. And I don't care what you motherfuckers think. I got nothing to explain to anybody. I don't care who extreme dread dates. I don't care who the eight bomb dates. He wants to date a fat cow. That's on him. If extreme dread wants to date a cross-eyed speech impediment blonde. If Vladimir Rosinski wants to date a, a, a cuck from Canada. If Pete Carroll's gum wants to date Oregon Thumb. Quite frankly, it's none of my business. If Soro wants to date his bird. If Opressador wants to stay single. It's none of my concern. So I tell people, don't worry about me and Milani. When I turn off this camera... I got a life outside of YouTube. You don't. This is your life. Oregon Thumb, this is your life. People take this shit too serious. I'm going to call it some slobs. First off, so real. i seen your video. Are you trying to upset me? You ain't going to make me upset. First off, I don't drive a green truck. My truck is red. It's a shiny red truck, and I own it. 
My name's on a title. Okay, that's number one. That video was cancer. Let me just say that. That video made my butthole get piccolo. Next on the agenda, Ladna Rosinski. I forgot, she, she left a comment that was nasty. I forgot what it says. I forgot what she said. Jesus. Oh, yeah. She was talking shit. That's, I, I couldn't remember exactly what she said. But you had to go to Canada to date somebody. A country I'm banned from. Since 2008. I had a... I'm not going to go in details. I was arrested in Canada in 2008. Banned from the country. It's my word versus theirs. I'm not going to go in details what it was about. Basically, I was caught with a weapon in my truck. That was fucking 11 years ago. But anyway. So... You want to date somebody in Canada. Who you never met. And you want to talk that shit. Who was the other slob I wanted to address? Forgot. Somebody else I was talking shit. Oregon Thumb, I think it was. No, it was Kyle Myers. A Kyle Myers account in the comment section talking shit. I don't know if it was the real sipping salsa or not. It was somebody. He said something nasty. Saying that Milani left me and I cried for to get her back. That's not exactly what happened. We both made mistakes. We addressed our mistakes. And we got we're getting past it. That's what couples do. Okay. If Kyle Meyer, if that Kyle Myers account was sipping salsa. I don't know who it is. I don't I don't know who's behind that account. It's probably Oregon Bum. But you know, Mr. Swan. If eight camel toes wants to date somebody and take care of somebody else's kids of a wife that cheated on him. Because he, because she, he was with this girl for fifteen years, and the girl that he was with has two daughters that are younger than how long he's been with her. That tells me something happened. That they split up and she got pregnant, and then they went back together. I don't know. The point is, I, if I got a problem with somebody, I'm going to take it up with them. I'm not going to take it up with the wife, unless I got a problem with the wife. I don't have a problem with eight camel toes dating a black girl. I used to date a black girl. I dated a couple of black girls back in the day. But for eight camel toes to date a black girl, or marry to a black girl, and spew the n-word on YouTube like he does... You know, if that's what his wife likes, hey, did you see his wife? She looks like a retarded version of Andrew, a Alexandria Ocasio Cortez with the Bugs Bunny teeth. Oh, don't talk about my wife. Hey, people talk about my my other half all the time. I just get even with it. I'm not going to get mad anymore at these people, at these trolls. I'm just going to get even. 
a camel toes came up on here and said that I had to go to Singapore to find a wife. First off, I've never been to Singapore. I've been to Mexico. I've been to Canada. I've been to Japan. I've been to Taiwan. And I've been to the Philippines. And I didn't pay anything for any wife. Two consensual adults that just happen to live 9,000 miles apart. Nothing wrong with it. Just like Ladna and Extreme Dread. Two consensual adults that just happen to live a couple thousand miles apart. And Extreme Dread. Why do you fuckers that want to say shit about me on YouTube are always interested in the size of my dick? Okay. Extreme Dread comes on here and he's like, he says the size of my wee wee. Why are you concerned about the size of my penis? I think it's pretty faggotry if you ask me. I'm a grown 36 year old. You're what, 19? I'm not concerned about somebody's half my age. At one third, well, I'm not, maybe not one, no, 18. That's about half my age. Yeah, 18, 19, whatever he is. I'm not concerned about his wee wee. I don't care where you put your wee wee. I don't care what you do with your wee wee. I don't care. Wee wee. I don't care. I mean, I hope you don't chop off your wee wee like John Bobbitt. Or no, Lorena Bobbitt. I hope you don't chop off your wee wee like Jazz Jennings and that and that pedophile Bruce Jenner. They're both pedophiles. I hope that, you know, Ladner doesn't chop off your wee wee like Lorraine Bobbitt to John Bobbitt. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not concerned about your dick. Don't don't be concerned about my dick. My dick is a good size. No complaints. Don't worry about it. My dick comes out. Want to take a piss? And when I'm in the shower. Nothing for you to worry about. I'm not gay. I'm not going to send you dick pics. Okay? No, I don't do that shit. That voyeurism shit, I don't do that. If, if Ladner likes that... <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I heard what Electra Pasaya did. They're so concerned about the size of my dick. I mean, oh my god. Just like these anti-gunners on Twitter a few years ago. Like three, four years ago on Twitter, I got into a big huff on Twitter over this gun agenda. And these anti-gunners, well, Weijin Bob is, was in a picture with this AR-15. I guess that's his dick grower, dick stabilizer, or... He must have a little dick because he's got an AR-15. Don't worry about my AR-15. My AR-15 is locked up. It's not going to hurt anybody. Okay, don't worry about my dick. I'm not worried about you, Extreme Dread. I'm not worried about your pussy. Okay, don't worry about my dick. Okay? Just don't become a... A Jazz Jennings pedophile or Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner pedophile. Right? They're both pedophiles. I don't care. But anyway, man, I went on a four minute rant about dicks. Wow, what's wrong with me? Alright. I got laundry to do. I got I got a shower to take and I gotta eat. I'm like you slobs. I got life outside of YouTube. I gotta pick up a load tomorrow and head for California. Anyway, I'm out.